I have mixed feelings about Ego, but I don't want to spoil anything. But I'm wondering, how does James Gunn pitch to you the role of a literal living planet? By showing me the first movie, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And, uh, you know, realizing that uh, a lot of Peter Quill's behavior, it, it, it makes sense when you think about some of the things that I did. Right. I, that's, and I, I, he didn't have to pitch that. I, he let me read it, and I went, oh, my God, okay, I understand. So I, I liked the, I, li I really did love uh, the opportunity to play Ego the Living Planet. You know, he's, he's, he, there's, no, there's no parameters there. Yeah. And I thought also that the relationship between, I, you know, I suppose part of it was because, you know, I, I've seen in my life um, children whose father wasn't there, um, parents who, you know, horrible something horrible happened. They couldn't, they never saw their child. They wondered what they were like. And in both cases, they built, as human beings do, they built up an imaginary person in their mind. And the mm -hmm. idea of finally getting a chance to come together gives you the, rea the reality to deal with. Like there were scenes where the planet actually has a face and the, some of the elements of the planet have a face. How much of that is you? Was there a motion capture element to this role? Well, you always do, they always do put you in the machine and Yeah, yeah. So it's whatever, yeah, well obviously with, with Ego, it's whatever, <laughs> whatever James wanted to do with him, you know. Yeah. I did, I, I mean some of it, some of them were my suggestions and I'm glad that they were able to do some of them because I think they're great in the movie. That's pretty cool. Uh, now, I'm not sure we're going to be seeing Ego in an Avengers movie, but, uh, you know, the Avengers are such a cool bunch of people. I'm wondering if you have a character in there who you would think would be fun to team up, team up with, whether it's because of the cast member or you just like the character. Well, like I said, I, I hadn't seen Guardians. Um, I've seen Iron Man. Yeah. Um, to team up with, yeah. <sighs> I, you, you, look, you know, you know what? <clears throat> fun thoughts. Fun yeah. thoughts, right? But I'm always just that guy who just waits to read a script, and you read yeah. a script, and you go, "Oh, that's a good idea." Right, right. I think that any of those characters can kind of either be enemies or team up with each other or whatever. You know, there's a lot of there's just a lot of room to play in. Yeah. So I guess having said that, I, I re I'm I'm locked into this one. Yeah. And the and and I'm glad that I'm glad it was this one that I that I got to do. Yeah. And I'm glad that it was Peter's father I got to be. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? So is, um, whatever's done with that in the future, um, if anything, you know, it would be interesting to look at. Right. And this has been a huge couple of weeks for you with Mr. Nobody yeah. in theaters a couple of weeks ago. Now you're a living planet. Yeah. Uh, both mysterious roles. Will we see more <laughs> of both of those roles in the future? I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know. Right. Um, yeah, to go from nobody <laughs> to a planet, you know, <laughs> ego, um, has been a great um, serendipitous event for me in my life, at this time in my life. Um, anybody who's sitting in my shoes um, and sitting in my seat here would have to just say it's fun to be a part of both of those. And, and you know, look, I've had a long career, and, and, and when you've had a long career like that, you, you experience the ups, the downs, the sideways, the everythings. Obviously, these are ones to sit back and say, "Wow, uh, nice to, nice to be alive. <laughs> you know, nice, to, <laughs> nice to be enjoying it." Um, that, and I am. So, Guardians of the Galaxy has quickly become one of the most iconic franchises of today's generation. So, I'm quizzing all the cast members on some '80s knowledge because of all the '80s references in the film. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you a movie and start a line and see if you can finish the line from the movie. All right? Okay, I'm all not right. much of a pop culture guy, so. <laughs> This well, is going to be unfortunately <laughs> disappointing for you. Well, I think you might get some. Here's here's one. Star Wars. Luke, I am. Luke, I am your father. That's it. That's one. Okay. Scar Luke, I am your father. Oh, okay. <laughs> Scarface. Say hello <clears throat> to my little friend. That's two. Hey, we're going two for two here. Terminator. I'll be back. That's three for three. You're on fire. And here's one from the Breakfast Club. Some people have been having trouble. You mess with the bull. You get the horns? That's four in a row. And this is a bonus one just for you. Okay. Uh, I don't know about you, but I have an aversion to getting FUBAR. And what is FUBAR? F***ed up beyond all recognition. And that is a perfect <laughs> score. Five for five. <laughs>